lot of people don't know this. I start from stocks, man. At that time, Donald Trump was the president. Also. One tweet, uh, market collapse. Uh, voila, I cannot take it. Eh. I keep calling on my ear. Then online, eh, I keep trading. Right? I got so many times my internet down uh, whatsoever. Uh, tak jadi. But then property, like, as long as there's no war, there's no phenomenon, then it's there. Right? I think because the fact that you see the numbers keep jumping, it pushes you to be much more exciting. Like you say, right, property investment is supposed to be boring. Mm. Actually, when you truly invest in stock, it's also supposed, it's to, be supposed, supposed to be boring. But then how long, like, like asking you, like, how long you all look at your portfolio? Right? Last time when I first started investing in stock. All right, welcome back to another episode with E Hung. Yeah. Thanks ah. for having me so long. <laughs> <laughs> so just like in our earlier episode, we talked a lot about your property investment. Mm. Yeah, we talked about different types of property at different eras built in Montara. Mm. We talked about what you need to pay attention to when you enter into a property, right? You also share with us about some of your property purchases. Mm. Yeah. So for those of you who do not want to miss out, go and check out that particular episode. Yeah, it's available in the form of a video and also in the form of podcast on our Real Money Show on yeah. Mr Money TV yes. in Spotify and Apple Podcasts. Okay, so Ihang, once oh, again, so you wanna <laughs> share with us? Uh, maybe you wanna recap a little bit about uh, your property investment strategy. Mm. My life is all about property lah. So I think it's like 120 percent property yeah. oh, <laughs> I thought you were going to 120 properties. <laughs> <laughs> oh. But but I actually met people with 120 properties. Oh uh. really? Yeah. Wow. Uh, so that's why you that's why I need to work harder. Property is my game, and the, that's the only thing that I really really passionate about. And it's very rare that you like an investment matter so much, right? So when I buy a particular property, I look at two things only rental rates and the transaction price is it above or below the median of the location so Subang has its median Nilai has its median you buy above or below so the best is below lah. so if you buy below and the rental there can cover the installment it's a good buy for me from an investment point of view so I, if you can only buy one now I buy five years later when I come back and it builds equity and I got enough savings for another one then I'll buy my second one then third for fifth floor. so I'm building until 25 that's my goal but then like 25 the obsession for numbers 25 as in 25 units right uh, 25 units so but that is an inaccurate thing because values matters so like now the latest two purchase is all a million, 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 million one. Mm. So now like 25 got millions one or got your 25 flow cost one. So I wouldn't want to just go into numbers where a lot of people, oh, I'm going to beat you, Sean, I've got 30. They all buy the Ruma Whip, uh, Ruma yeah, Sengoku. Yeah, yeah. That's like, right, that's right. What for, right? That's a bit pointless. Yeah, yeah. So, so then it becomes like 25 quality ones. When rental is healthy and you buy below the median, right? There's enough safety factor where like you, you don't have tenants uh, or fire sale, right? I can still go on market rate. So I won't lose as much in a fire sale situation. And throughout time, it builds equity where I can refinance out for bullets for my next purchase also. Every five years, 10 years, I'm very confident that time is on my side. Uh, confirm. <laughs> Tomorrow will be better. So a lot of people try to laugh at that. They sing that song, right? But actually, mine is truly. And every time inflation figures come out, I'm very happy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately. Why is it so? Why is it so? Because the exact cost to build the exact same thing in the same location has gone up 30-40% already. Yep, yep. That's right. So when people think like, oh, property price is going to crash. Hmm. Okay, I don't. If you buy today, then yeah, correct uh, la, yeah. Yeah, You get into trouble la, But yeah. you did make the decision like five years ago, right? Mm, yeah, mm. yeah. So that's the game plan now, la. But a lot of people don't know this. I start from stocks, man. Oh really? Oh really? Mm. What was the first stock that you bought? BRDB options. Oh, oh wow! Your stock. Eh, not not option. Oh, no, no, no. Warrants, warrants, not option. Warrants. Warrant, uh. So that time I got like I think six hundred bucks on him, uh. Then I bought property warrant because my mother was. I need to go through my mother's remains here. Mm. I don't have a, not enough age yet, so so I started actually from stocks. So why why do you stop investing in stocks and then go into property? The amount of effort versus result. Actively, right? I need to read up a lot, and this was like TV Tiga press the oh, <laughs> button, yeah, yeah. go and oh, see okay, the green. Okay, uh. okay, okay. then uh, the only source, right, is TV and newspaper. I need to truly truly read because I don't. Want my parents not not my parents don't have full picture of my investment. Uh. That time I only go through my mom's one. I got 700 and we make some money then okay I'll cash out a little bit but it became too slow because my amount was small then when you say you do so much effort right for 200 bucks uh. but 200 bucks is like 30% already uh. <laughs> so yeah, yeah. Uh, then when you go up bigger right, then suddenly you 
Why do so much effort still nothing? The property for what? Oh, a few thousand. I have a lot of things that I want to do actively, not researching. Mm. Mm. Uh. Have you ever heard about diversification? It's an important concept in investing to navigate risk. But most people don't do so as that isn't a strong enough reason. What if I told you that diversifying doesn't just spread out risk, but increase your rewards? In fact, that has never been a better time to do so. Why? Because the US earnings season is now in full swing and there could be opportunities to invest in US stocks right now. So how do I invest in US stocks? Ha. Let me introduce our sponsor for this video, M Plus Global, a company known for its online brokerage services that many have heard of, especially from us because we genuinely use it all the time. They are currently running a fantastic promotion. If you open an account and deposit a minimum of 1,000 ringgit into M Plus Global account, you will stand a chance to receive a free mystery US stock. It could even be AMD or Tesla worth up to 1,300 ringgit at the time of recording. Quite a deal, right? On top of that, if you sign up using our special referral code before the end of July, there will be an extra free FXI ETF worth a staggering 2770. This is also at the time of recording of this video. That's a guaranteed reward of 127 ringgit, even without counting the mystery stock. Now, if you're interested, we made a full length video review View and an in-depth article explaining the account opening process. All of this can be found just by heading to the link in the description below. Believe me, you don't want to miss out on this opportunity. One very important point that you mentioned that is that you started off from Warren Trading, right? But during that time, because it was a lot earlier, mm. you probably have lesser income during those times. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. You, have, you have one important point that you mentioned just now. That investment for you made 30%. Mm. Right, that thirty percent you probably got it within a relatively shorter period of time compared yeah. to your property investment. Yeah. So maybe today with your income level, mm -hmm. <laughs> again I'm trying to recycle mm -hmm. you. Yeah. With your income level, you today, let's say instead of putting six hundred bucks into that option, you put sixty thousand. Uh, you put sixty thousand with that confidence that you have mm. on the warrant. In the same period of time, you could have make 30 percent as well. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. that thirty thirty percent would have been eighteen thousand ringgit today. Mm. So that is the power of stock investment because mm. as long as your direction for the stock is correct, your analysis is accurate, then it's definitely worth the amount of money because of the liquidity yeah. factor. And I was so old school, right? I went through with my series one. Mm. Then we must mm. get a big cut. Yeah. Then when suddenly when it went online, right? When I start clicking, right? Every click is 2,000. Right? Every click is 4,000 you put in, right? Then right. I had that fear. And all this while I have very bad luck with technology win. so transaction cost was high for you uh, but, you, but you think about it property is even more yeah, but expensive do, do less frequently ma. right then you know you know the last time the rule we go I'm in sure not less frequently not very frequently <laughs> <I see you. laughs> it's relative okay it's yeah. relative okay so monday go in friday come out ma. i don't go through the weekend ma, right mm. And then like if you remember for something, I keep calling and reminds here, then online then I just keep trading, right? I got so many times my internet down la, whatsoever la. Tak jadi. I bank in money. Hey, did it, why, why didn't buy one? Why my queue didn't go in one? Mm. Then that's then there's so many platforms and then ah oh, you're leche, then password la. <laughs> Lost your password la. Uh, so Lost then your password. Uh, uh, now then oh yo, then oh now we have a new system, you need to go through this, then wow. Oh, when, when you started investing in stock, uh, how, how old were you? 16? Uh, oh, so, I, so I, think, I think because one thing is that the, the, the landscape for investing, right? Mm. For stocks, uh, or I have to say, right? Like property from 2012 when we start investing that time mm. up to today is about the same. Yeah. Like, yeah. Uh, mm. No much difference, mm. right? Not much changes. Just stock, uh, honestly, right? 2017, 2018 stock investment and today, uh, Whole totally different. different. Mm. Last time it's all about remisier calling, yeah. right? Today everything DIY. You do it yourself. Yeah, yeah. And mm. if you're sophisticated enough, you can even go into algo trading, you know, mm. things like that. Even mm. information access is very much different today. Yeah. yeah. So so at that time I was quite heavy on stocks, right? At that point point of time. Because how I work is like, okay, I buy one property already now, I need to save bullet. Mm. Save, save, save. So I save, save where? So if I save in normal fixed deposit, right, it's never going to reach when they need some growth flow. So I put in, you know? then I realized I put in, right? Uh, that time Donald Trump was the president. 
accident or something. Uh-huh. One tweet, ah, uh, market collapse, ah, uh, wall out. I cannot take it, eh. Right. Then, ah. then when I'm working, I keep like locking to it, ah, uh, like so. That time when you have very re- limited funds, ah, uh, mm-hmm. mm-hmm. that's my life mm-hmm. already. And then like, wow. Mm. You're yeah, playing with my gun ching. <laughs> 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 don't, don't stroke yeah. me like that, right? Wow, I cannot. Uh. So then I did like, until now, honestly, I don't know what I hold. Because you lose touch with that stock uh. that you own already. <clears throat> right? and, yeah. and to an extent, right? There's money inside the account, but they lock my account. And the money is also too small uh, to be relevant. No, no, which is like, I think, I think 40 over thousand, I think. 40 mm. over thousand. Uh. Uh, they are so small for you. <coughs> <like> no. <laughs> so, <laughs> so my point is this so when I call back, right? Then there's this operating hours. And five o'clock, so the f- like five o five, like we finish work, right? <laughs> five o'clock, you call. Hey, oh, the office closed already. You need to renew your pin. We need a manual person. Then you check whether it's you and <sighs> then you forget about it. Then Monday you start war again in your own career, right? Then like suddenly weekend now, Mark Zuckerberg want to fight the Elon Musk. Then how? Oh. <laughs> then new cyber truck come on. Then now AI new discovery. Like, wow, how to keep up? Like then, yeah. but then property like as long as there's no war. There's no phenomenon, but then it's there. Man. Hey guys, do you know we just launched our newsletter? If you would like to have some exclusive weekly financial tips, some of our thoughts behind the scene, and my thoughts about the market, you can go to www.mrmoneytv.com to sign up for the newsletter. When you subscribe for the newsletter, you will get an ebook and also a retirement calculator. So what you waiting for? Sign up now. I have to say one thing that there's a difference between a stock investment and property investment, right? Is that uh, I always tell people this, right? When it comes to property investment, mm. there is, when you buy a property, let's say 1 million, right? If tomorrow one guy walks up and offer that property 800,000, uh, you won't know. But when it comes to stock, uh, you can see one. You can see one. Uh. So your, your feeling, uh, play my feeling. Uh, 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 like suddenly, why, why got one guy offering so much cheaper? Uh? Uh, but so uh. I'm stuck, right? I'm stuck where I, I see the purchase on newspaper. <laughs> so, eh, this Tansri bought back his own share one or he buy back one, why buy back? Then I go ask my mother, what is buy back? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so so I'm, I'm still stuck in there. Then after then, when it moves to mobile, right? I don't even have mobile because I take a lot of videos. So my, like even my crypto wallet also, I uninstall put it in my other phone. Mm. So I need all the space I need for creation. That's right, why right. suddenly, I don't want Monday, I look at my stock Friday, I lose money. Right. Then I cash out, right? Then Monday, maybe, okay, like, now I think about it, right? maybe now, this is a confession. <laughs> about <laughs> stock. <laughs> confession <laughs> podcast. Uh, confession so session. so mm. like when I play stocks, right, it's like me, I'm expecting short-term gain from it. I think that's the problem. Yes, oh. correct. Because just now when you talk about property, you are talking about long-term investment. What is your strategy for the mm. whole 30 years, 40 years? But when we turn into stocks, now you straight away say Monday, buy Friday. Sell, oh, right? then like, eh, yeah, suddenly, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, it sounds so, like a amateur yeah. in front of you. Yeah. Mm. Eh, no, la, no, la, uh. no. La. Diff- different attitude. Maybe yeah. you're a pro, pro investor. Eh. Maybe uh. you're a pro trader. Uh. Mm. Uh. <laughs> that's why like, I like, keep taking notes about like what's happening in the news, whatever, like what's going to make. You know, like, then why I behave like a very short term flipper or that trader kind of mode. Could yeah. be, could be. I think I think because the fact that you see the numbers keep jumping, it pushes you to be much more exciting. Uh. Mm. Like you say, right? Property investment is supposed to be boring. Mm. Actually, when you truly invest in stock, it's also supposed, it's to, be supposed boring. to be boring. But then how long, like, like asking, like, how long you all look at your portfolio? Right? Because last time it's not like, okay, like, why I speak like them old? Like, when you say like, hey, I speak like uncle. Like <laughs> Right. You're younger How, than me. Right? You're younger than me. Yeah, I'm the youngest here, yeah. apparently. No, I, I think it's because, like we say, right, you haven't been investing in stock market for a mm. very long time. Mm. You have not been active in it, right? Mm. So, uh, do you have any plans of actually getting back into stock investing? So, uh, last time I buy stock, I think last year, on the milk <coughs> company. That Farm oh, Fresh. Farm Fresh. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I buy only when I got time. You can see name on it, so I'm like, still trading on <laughs> at one, eh. So, like, wow. I know they were one of the earliest ones with the lowest transaction fee back then. Uh. Then when you need to renew something, you go back main branch. La. It was one of the best at that time. That time only got two banks got online interactive oh. broker. No, la, we recommend you a better broker. La. Really, I have no clue. Like That's why really in this episode, I'm trying to learn. Man. Mm. I know the, oh, this stock is going to go, this stock is going to go, but I got no time to buy. Literally no time to buy. Yeah, I understand what you mean. So uh, I, I think everyone has a different way of approaching stock. Like for me, just now you ask the question, how often do I look at it? Uh, I can tell you very honestly, right? Mm. So by one whole week, uh, I never turn on my stock. Book really? Book. I never open it. Yeah. He he would open it every day. So uh, we, we both have very different styles, mm. right? So maybe I'll try to view mine, right? Mine is very simple. 
Uh, usually when I look at a company, if I think it's good, uh, I do some research mm. uh, and then I will start buying. Then what I do is that I will not buy all one shot usually. Mm. So I will portion it out. Like in my mind, I already know that I'm going to put in, let's say 20K. Then uh, I'm going to buy like the first batch 5K. Next week, I'll take a look at it again. Then I see oh, whether, like how's it like. I locate a budget out ah, then. Correct, correct. So that's what oh. I do. Yeah, and once I finish buying, I basically just leave it there unless mm. got big news happen. Mm. If not, then I don't even bother looking at it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So yeah. like my US stock, sometimes uh, I will open my app right, and I'll go like, wow, it's so much. Flexing now. Like, 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 and with all those, uh, yeah. I buy like a few years back, right? Then I didn't even bother looking at it, right? Yeah. I look back at oh, 400% increase. Eh. And the worst yeah. thing is, you know, people ask me, hey, are you, are you, are you into US stock? Like, I don't know, but you just... Like the consumer base, like I drink milk, then I see the milk company can buy, and then when you want to buy a computer, why why your graphic card so expensive when I think can buy graphic card. So like I think graphic card can buy. But then like, what buy US stock? Okay, now which app? Wow, then suddenly or oh, the amount of apps. So a new research, right? Which app makes sense? Instead of I want to just buy that stock. Right. Now then last time was very difficult. Uh. It's only after the MCO, right? Because more and more retail participation into the stock market, right? Uh. Then su- suddenly all these brokers in town, they start to think, hey, I need to be more innovative. I need to give more give more products to the mm. investors, the retail investors. Then lately, right, you start to see more and more brokers offering US stocks, Hong Kong stocks, foreign stocks for that matter, right? For more people to come and participate into the stock market. Mm-hmm. So today, the one that we are using and we think that it is very great, mm. it is very good, it's very seamless, UI, UX is fantastic. Mm. This one is called M Plus, M mm. Plus Global. Uh, M Plus Global is related to Malacca Securities. It's an extension for you to trade US stocks and Hong Kong stocks with a very competitive fee. It's as close to you buying a Bursa Malaysia stock. It's about three US dollar per transaction mm. and eighteen Hong Kong dollar per transaction. Malaysia is like fifteen at uh, twelve. Uh. Malaysia is around twelve ringgit. Ten, 12 depending, 15, depending yeah. on depending, depending yeah. on yeah. which broker you use. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. And and the best part yeah. is you don't need to forever go and check what updates they have on. You can just put the stocks that you invest in into your watch list, mm. set notification. Every time there's a news update on the company that you buy, it will pop up to you. So from there, you see that, hey, whether you want to take reaction mm. on that piece of news, or that news or not, then only you decide from there. Yeah. No? So well, that has been a struggle. Eh? Yeah. This, this, this is a lot more easier when it comes to, I think ever since these past few years, stock investing is so much more easier right now. So what happens is that with all these different kind of uh, tech facilities and so on, uh, they help you to be able to follow news much more easier. So like, let's say you put in Tesla into a watch list, right? Mm. If tomorrow got news about Tesla, uh, straight away it's under a push notification. Mm. Yeah, they'll filter out the news for you. You won't be reading a bunch of like mm. other kind of news. Yeah, other noises well, last in the time market. was the worst. Eh. Mm. Again, yeah, yeah, last time today different, man. I still remember last time when I first started investing in stock, uh. I keep calling him because uh. he was an investment banker. <laughs> oh. Banker. Hey, bro, 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 how are uh, Where uh, Hey. Because, because I read the news uh, now, right? Fire. And 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 like okay, like, I think the behavior also like a question right now, since you're into US stock, right? Like, like I used to buy based on the thirty six weeks graph, right? so that's my version of knowing am I below or above the median. Right, right. right ah, right. you use your property knowledge <laughs> into stocks uh, uh, to look at the thirty six weeks. Work? Uh, uh, it works on your technical trading. But it doesn't work if you are looking at the long-term fundamentals of the company. Mm. Because ultimately, for in order for the price to go up, the business has to do well. Ah. But 36 weeks, in a way, you can argue that it is not long enough for you to see whether the company does well or not. Oh. So you also need to pay attention to what new initiatives the company is, is doing in order mm. to drive the company forward for the mm. next 20 years. And then then the app also got PE ratio and all. Got everything. Got everything. All yeah. the analysis that you no, need. No, this is there. very easy to find information. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's why I got a, I got a Pambari yeah. <laughs> 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 I go to the newspaper there and all this stock then draw. All the oh, no, 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 no. Now, now very easy. Yeah, yeah. now very easy. Yeah, I think, I think the thing about stock investment that's a little bit different from property in, in, in my opinion is that I think both also number one you need money mm, yeah, mm. if you are if you're not earning well it's gonna be hard like last time when we all invest I uh, invest only like a few thousand ringgit uh, versus after that later when you can put in like much bigger amount right yeah when you see that three five percent increase uh, it's very significant mm. yeah and uh, I have to say that like definitely for me I, I like both I have property and uh, stock investing but stock does give me a lot more liquidity mm. yeah, but more cheeky also yeah, because the ups and downs is more yeah, yeah, exciting yeah. Yeah, and also because of the fact that 
you can take out, sometimes it makes you make stupid decision. It's not mm. a property, no. Like you can't jump, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. You want to sell, right? You can't sell, man. So mm. after you slip through it, then you're like, yeah. ah, yeah, I'm stupid, la, yeah. right? You, you know you're rich, yeah. but you no money, man. Correct. <coughs> Stock different, you know. Mm. You feel can't jump, ah. You go and press the button, sell anyone, bro. So no more, eh? Tomorrow you, you cannot, cannot get regret. the price. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So I, th- I think here is where, when it comes to stock investing, it requires even a lot more discipline. Mm. Yeah, as an investor, you have to be due to accessibility. Very, yes, due mm. to accessibility. Yeah, mm. it's not like there's a lot of temptation for you to press something. Yeah, that's what happened to my family. So, so like, okay, I'm born. Fortunately, I'm born in a family where they talk about stocks during mm. dinner table. And, mm. Oh, this one on me because I made money on Nestle. Like, huh, like young time, this is the conversation. Oh, I made this in the uh, what uh, uh, the last stock I bought, Petronas Camp. Mm. Well, okay, I can make a lot of big 3x uh, so uh, this, this meal on me lah, the whole family we order them, like, oh stock can make money then maybe because of that the trading nature right, or expect it to make money lah. yeah uh, yeah yeah how do I get back in like, for your suggestion mm. like, no. I, uh, like I know the fundamentals like, I do not calculation and all lah, but it's all like gut feel kind of thing mm. Mm. I would say start from where you're comfortable with so you're super comfortable with property you're super comfortable with construction mm. start there you know, you from that you know property means you need raw material, you need all the but US uh, steels and all those stuff, right? Wait, so uh. you need all those things, right? Oh. So all these things it will cascade down into its supply chain. Uh. and then for that supply chain to happen, what it needs logistics, right? Mm. So sometimes logistics, all these things need to be imported. It comes mm. from other parts of the world. And then uh. from there then you say, Oh, maybe this company is a shipbuilding company. Oh, it needs engine. Engine maybe comes from let's say General Electric. Mm. Oh, so General Electric is in US. Then from there, while you study about US, right? Then suddenly you thought, hey, actually the growth of General Electric is not great. But the growth actually comes from tech stocks. Mm. Then from there you go into tech stocks. Mm. So start from where you're comfortable with. Once you are very solid in that knowledge, mm. then start to expand. That's how you widen your horizon in your investment space. Let me go try. Let me go try. I'm like seriously looking like I, tr- I tried but right now I'm still trading on my PC. Huh? Uh. Dude, that old school day. I'm, s- I'm I'm buying stuff on PC as well. Without the computer, I cannot buy stock on. <laughs> Serious? You see, my phone got no trading. Hey, bro, you're, you're two years younger than me, day. Ah. Okay, okay. okay let me go buy. Let me go buy. Okay, I go buy. I should. Make him download the app now. <laughs> <laughs> I go. I in go. Front of the camera. I should we buy all ten stock by now. <laughs> hey, no, 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 no. Please don't do that. <laughs> yeah. All right. So that's all about it. Thank you very all much. Right. We'll see you next time. See you. Hey, you that old school? Oh, I can't stop. No way. I didn't expect, bro. I thought you bullshit me. Read that old school. Really? Real one. Real. I got no trading.